Was this Mary a bicycle repair shop? No. Don't you like it? What are you doing? What, a saddle and a pair of handlebars? Oh, no. Come on. Use your imagination. Um... No. How about this? This will give you a big clue. Oh, yes. Of course. A dotty saddle and a pair of handlebars. No, it's a bull. A what? Well, can you see it now? Look, here's his nose. Yeah. Horns. Eyes. That, that is magnificent. Oh, I know. Hold on, look. I'll show you what. He needs a ring for his nose. Hang on. That's great. Yes, Lovely. That's creative, you see, that not is. Off. Not you off. take bits of your bike and you throw them all together and you get something completely new. My bike. Huh. Yeah, it's a bit like words, really, isn't it? Words? Yeah, well, I mean, you could take two words like, say, ear and wig, mm -hmm. see? Put them together. It's not an ear. It's not a wig. No. It's more a sort of, um... Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's horrible! <laughs> I see what you mean. You mean like, um... Humbug. It's not a hum. And it's not a bug. It's a... Oh, I'm sorry. That's my last one. That's all right. It could do the same sort of thing with numbers as well. How do you mean? Well, by combining numbers, you get something completely new. Do you? Hmm. Like, um, four and two, 42. Or four and two, six. Hmm. Or two, four, zero, eight. See? Yeah. Ah, but look, every time you combine numbers, you only get a new number, don't you? See what I mean? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. But not always. No? Come over here. What's this? You'll see. Ah, five. Yes. Six. Mm -hmm. Woodley seven. Yeah. A flat eight. A bent nine. <laughs> and a naught. What is it? Ah. Clue. No idea. Combining numbers to make a face. Ah. Hey, what about combining triangles? To make what? You'll see. <laughs> Compliments in ten. Ah. Uh, 
20. Twenty. I know. Compliments in twenty. <laughs> Compliments in twenty. again. Left. Left. Stop. Turn round. More. Bit more. Now forward. Stop. <laughs> Back. Stop. Turn round. Forward. Round, forward, stop, stop, turn round, the other way, turn round more, forward, keep to the left side, not too close, forward, stop. Turn round, forward, keep going, turn, stop, turn left, forward, stop, forward, stop, right, forward, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. This is the second part of the story about a traveller in strange worlds. Entry in the ship's log for the 64th day of my voyage. The dreadful storms I have experienced over the last ten days have eased somewhat, and I have gone ashore on an uncharted island. Indeed, I have come by accident on a strange and scary world. 
From a distance, the world appears as a thin band of greenish mist, floating above the ground at about knee height. By looking down, one became aware that this was indeed a world in which life existed. Within this thin world glided a collection of wafer-thin shapes, triangles, quadrilaterals, squares, octagons, decagons, and circles. To this strange place, I gave the name Flatland. Whilst I stood watching this activity, a pentagon detached itself and traveled around my legs, as if feeling me. It was followed by a circle that did the same journey, but more slowly and with greater care. My first inclination was to rush from this strange place, but on reflecting, I realized that in Flatland all things must appear as straight lines. And the only way to tell who you are talking to is to feel round them. Thinking further, I wondered what it would look like if some of our objects were put into their world. So, with great care, I attached a long thread to a number of things that I had on my person. The first, my telescope. Next, I tried one of my sea boots. And lastly, the ship's cat, which by lucky coincidence I had carried with me. That done, I returned to my ship and set sail on the next stage of my voyage. Look at this. <laughs> hey, Presto. It's a box with a line through it. Mm. Or it could be a pair of, uh, you know, those swing doors. Hmm. Yeah, you try one. Okay. Ah. Are you see? It's a mirror picture of that. Yes. Or two E's that have had an argument. Or television aerial. Yeah. Give us another one. Okay. Uh, how about that? What's that? It's an E taking it easy. Oh. Or... A very old comb. <laughs> You've got one like that, haven't you? <laughs> oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Mm.